Well, we got the Integra and we got it running good. Got the new windshield in, got the new tires in, took it up to the place to get inspected and it failed. Had three things that needed to be replaced. So let's check them out and see if we can get it done and get it up there and we'll see if it passes. So let's check it out. All right, well, one thing was it doesn't have a third brake light. It needs a spoiler. So we ordered a spoiler but it won't be here till um, next week sometime. We only have 15 days to get this inspected again, or we have to pay another $20. So we're going on Sunday to pick up um, another hood because this hood is all rusted. So we're getting a new hood. We're getting another vent for the inside. Um, we're getting some side markers, maybe a bumper because this bumper is all uh, messed up and I don't want to do all that work to it, so we got to get a spoiler, so he's going to let us borrow one so we can get it inspected. Um, another reason up here is the battery. Um, the battery doesn't have a tie down, so we're going to have to uh, drill two holes down there. We already got the battery tie down, so I have to drill two holes where the hooks will go down. The hooks will go down like this, and they'll come back up, and then they're threaded and then the piece will fit over the battery. So we're gonna do that. I got the strut bar on there, so I got that bolted up. And we also put the AC bracket down there. I know it needs to be painted, but I needed to put it on there because we're getting a lot of wheel hop taken off in the first year. So I, I put that on there, so we didn't have that on there. I thought it'd be okay, but Obviously, this end just got some torque, and uh, taking off from first gear, the whole front end just pops all over the place. So, hopefully that'll fix that. And another reason is the trailing arms. The trailing arm bushings right down here, I'll show you um, what they look like and what we have to do to get these out here. So, right there is your trailing arm bushings, and you can see that right down here you can see right there it's torn so we're gonna have to get these out there's one bolt there and there's one bolt on the other side right there okay there's these two bolts you need to take those two bolts out which lowers this part down okay you don't have to take it all apart to get those out of there and then right underneath here is um another bolt that you're gonna have to try to get out okay it's right there there's no way for you to get in there without drilling a hole um i put some um pb blaster up there for a few hours let it soak and gently you know torque it back and forth and i got the bolt out so i just screwed it back in there because i'm not going to take it out tonight but um i got the bolt out so but sometimes it gets um, so frozen in there, corroded, that that back nut, that's a free spinning nut in the back side there that you really can't get to to get it out. Even if you get this bolt loose, um, that spinning bolt just corrodes right to that bolt and you can't get it out. So you're going to have to drill a hole right there where that hole was. You're going to have to drill it bigger enough to get some vice grips in there to hold it, maybe heat it up, but... I was fortunate to to get that loose and get that uh and get that bolt out of there. So hopefully the other side is um the same way. So we'll take that bolt out. That is connected to right here, which is connected to the trailing arm that comes down right here. So there's your one bolt there, and then your other bolt is right there. I got that bolt out that connects right there and then it connects to the trailing arm which is like I said your bolt your one bolts there and the one bolts on the other side so you can see um you can see right there it's torn and um so those need to be replaced to pass inspection so those are the three things that are need to be done so um hopefully this bushing will come out I've sprayed it um, probably gonna have to heat it up might get a tool to push these out after we get it lowered down um, I'm trying not to um, take everything off of here because there's the the strut and then 
Yeah, so you just unbolt these two bolts right here, this one, this one, and then it should lower it down. Sometimes you might have to take this clip off of here for the, for the brakes, just to pull this out of this bracket here. So lower it down, but if you have a jack underneath it, like this, and you can put a jack underneath it and slowly lower it down, lower it down and see if, how much tension is on this, then we should be good. So we'll do this side. Um, tomorrow we'll um start taking this down and see if we can get this out we should be getting the bushings um today or tomorrow they say tomorrow but they say out they're out for delivery today so hopefully we'll get that done and we'll get it up there to start pass pass inspection and we can uh we can start driving it see if i fix the wheel hop from the thing there we got to start some body work a um, couple more spots we need to pull out here, like right there, need to pull that out. This needs to be pulled out here. That molding needs to come off right there because that needs to be fixed right along that area right there. And then uh, we'll put some uh, filler in there. So um, we're gonna paint the, we're gonna paint the cowl here. Um, as soon as we get it off, I called, um, I called the, uh, Acura dealer and there's seven of these clips right here there's seven of these clips going across here and they want five dollars a piece for those and then they want um four dollars and something a piece for these so there's one two three four five six seven there's eight of those so i mean so i'm gonna try and see if i can get one off this uh parts car if not, um, we might just have to order them. So if anybody knows um, where I could get those off eBay or Amazon, um, if you could send me a link, I'd appreciate it. And we need to get this sticker off there. And we need to um, we need to get it to pass so we can start driving it, start tuning it and getting it all uh, getting it all running right. So hopefully um, putting this brace on right here and doing that will help the, the wheel hop. We will see you tomorrow when we go and do the filling arm bushings. And there's Emily. <laughs> Hi guys. Subscribe to my channel, Emily's Crazy World. See you there. All right, so we got the other uh, trailing arm out, the trailing arm bushing out. We got the other one in there. We got it bolted up. So we got this one done. Um, we got it bolted up there. So all we need to do is um, put the brake pads back in here. We need to bolt this bolt right there for the um, emergency brake cable. And then I need to put the emergency brake cable back on here. So I'm gonna get this side all buttoned up and we will do the other side and we'll see what it looks like. But we had to use, um, this tool right here from, um, we had ordered online from Honda, but this is the tool that you can use right here. Um, it basically goes around the trailing arm like that. And then you got your pin that goes through here and then you got a big cup that goes around it. But this is the old, uh, this is the old bushing. Pretty bad, pretty worn. So needed to be done. So we got that done. Um, I wasn't able to, um, hit it out with a hammer. I tried, you can see right there, I tried to do it, but it was not coming out. And, um, as soon as we got the whole thing out, it just popped out of there. So you can see where it was kind of rusted and stuck in there from the other side. So this is basically from like, right, let me see if I show you. So from like right here to here, it actually sits in the trailing arm. And this side from here to here sticks out in the back. So you got to make sure that you put it in the way it came out like this. So make sure that a short part and then the longer part on the inside. Make sure that you mark your spot. You can see that there's an arrow right there. And the same thing with this one. I marked it. You can see, yeah, you can see right there I marked it. So you can put them the exact the same way that they go in because if they're crossed just a little bit, you won't be able to line up the holes and then you'll have to push it back out again. So this side's done. I'm gonna get this finished up, 
get the tire back on it and then we'll do the other side there there's the other uh trailing arm bushing so you have this bolt you have that bolt there that drops the trailing arm down okay but right up here you have this arm right here i don't know what it's called but it's called something and then you have your bolt right there same thing on the other side you got your free spinning bolt on the inside there so we're gonna try to get this one out it's like a 14 14 or 17 millimeters so i'm gonna try to rock this back and forth i've sprayed it a few times so it should come out hopefully it won't give me any problems and then we should be able to take the bolts out for the trailing arm um, we don't have to take that bolt out, but right up here, this one, and then that one right there. So we'll get this one out, and then we'll uh, we'll finish this side up, and then we'll go over the other side, and we'll bolt this up right there, and we'll put that bolt in it, and then we should be good with both sides, and then we'll start the um, the battery tray hold down. So I'll be right back when I get this out. All right, so we had to take the whole trailing arm off the Integra and get the bushing pushed in there with the press um the tool that we have the thing wasn't going in there right and it was going in sideways so we just took it up there and he pressed it in for us so now we have to put um put it all back together put it back all on here like that so we're gonna get ready and put this all back together got the new exhaust on it got the other side done see the other side's done so we just got to get this side done on there. So we got it in there and marked it. So it should be good. Um, if I had to push it in a little bit more, the tool will push it in now that it's in there. So we'll be able to figure it out once we get it all up there and see what um, see what we need to move it. You know, either this way out just a little bit. But I think that's enough. As you can see on the other side, it's almost flush. And that's about what it should be. So we should be good. If we need to push it in, we will. So, and then we had to take the wheel sensor down right there. There's just the two um, 10 millimeter bolts right on the other side here, which sits in this little uh, sits in this little casing right inside here, and it bolts up. So, all right, well, we're gonna get ready. Put this back up and lower it down. Make sure the other side is good to go, um, and then we'll start it up and pull it out. And then we'll uh, hook up the third brake light we got the battery tray done and the battery um, bracket so that's done so this is the three things that need to be done on to pass inspection so let's do it let's get it in all right so the car is uh got a rejection sticker for the rear spoiler with the third brake light and the battery tie down so we did a battery tie down right there so the battery's good it's not going anywhere we did the um, the rear trailing arms, so those are in, and everything's good. We test drove it. We got those in there, and then we got the rear spoiler on here with the third brake light. So let's check it out, make sure that it works, and we should be good for our reinspection tomorrow. And hopefully, she passes inspection, and we can start some of the body work. I already started a little bit there with that big dent was in the door, or the passengers or the driver's side. Um, quarter panel so that needs to be sanded down some prime we started on some hood already and i started painting some of the trim right there you can see the difference between this one and you can see this one looks a lot better so i painted that taped that off and painted that so and there you go third brake light third brake light good 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 okay we're good we drove it a little bit today ran ran good um, back trailing arms are so much better. Not a lot of bounce in the back. And this tire doesn't look like it's about to fall off. And, yep, they both work. Emergency flashers work. This tire looks so much better now that I tighten that up and, and put the camber in. Look at that. And then this one over here. Yep, same way. This one is a little bit out, but we're going to get a four-wheel alignment. Did you see that tire back here? Look at this. Did you it see looks that? straight now. It looks straight now. This one's out just a little bit on that side, but... A lot better. A lot better. So, we're going to get ready. And Corey's going to take it up tomorrow since I have to work. And we started some of the interior work. We did the... the um, we put the sun visors in. So, we got that one in, that one in. And then we got the rear uh, 
interior light. We got that bolted up, so we need a light bulb for it. We got the glass somewhere, the plastic piece. And then we're gonna start some body work and some interior work. We're gonna start spraying down these black, the trim, get some new clips. And then start on these. We're gonna spray paint these black. Get the cowl spray painted black also, right there. So we're gonna get that painted black. But their car's running so much better. We gotta figure out this right here. This keeps popping off of here when we are driving it. So we gotta figure out how to get that um, in place and get a thing on it. If we have to get a new one, we'll get a new one. But we wanna try to use this one for now since we spent a lot of time and money on this car so far. So I can't believe we pulled this out for $900, huh? $900. I'll show you a picture right now what it used to look like. And then look at it now. It's actually got a bumper, fenders, so we start some body work and make her look better interior wise and that but basically underneath the hood is all pretty much brand new all right so if you like this video please give us a big thumbs up we got a lot done on the integra um so it's getting ready to get in re-inspected tomorrow um it failed inspection because of the third brake light the battery tie down and then the rear trailing arms so you see that we got it done driver's side and passenger side we had to take the passenger side off we took it up to ride these tires he hooked us up let us use his press Got it pressed in, came back, put it in. We took it for probably, what, 25 minute drive, warmed it up, ran good. So if you like this video, please give us a thing, big thumbs up. You can stay tuned for more on the Integra and see if it passed inspection. And then we'll start some body work. So we next see you next time on JC Motor Garage. Thanks for watching.